Welcome back to Vlogtober. I am just finishing my makeup. I was watching Miss Darcy this morning. I don't know if you guys know Miss Darcy, but she's um, a Canadian makeup girl on YouTube and um, she is so freaking funny. Highly recommend her if you are looking for a very hilarious, funny girl online. Um, doing her thing, you know? Okay, so I have a whole bunch of clothing here and I'm about to try them on. I got my tripod. I cleared out this corner and that is where I'm going to stand. The ladder is over there. This is going to be a little bit different. It's not going to be a normal vlog. Um, I want to mix it up a little bit. So we are going to do a outfits kind of video. So I'm going to be putting on a lot of clothing today to help give you some inspo. Well, I mean, if you need the inspo or if you just want to watch that's okay too. I really appreciate all the support you guys are giving me this October. You're really like making me push through and get through it all. I cannot believe we are only like however many days away from finishing October. and yeah. I don't know where you guys are from where you're watching this. Hello California, hello Texas. Those are like the biggest states that watch me. A lot of you guys are also from Canada and Europe. So hi, I know you guys are dealing with really cold weather right now. Um, but I am not. So definitely add a jacket or anything else layering over the outfits that I show you because it's probably going to be cold where you are. In Japan, like for example today, my thing is reading 23 degrees. So it's still quite warm. Well, I mean for me, for a Canadian girl. Anyway, let's get on to this video. Okay, this is my new favorite sweater for this season. I got it from Genesis. And it wasn't cheap, but the quality feels really nice and it's quite good. And um, yeah, I like that the sleeves are oversized. It's quite cropped, so if you want to wear um, a t-shirt underneath or something like that, I do recommend doing that. But yeah, I'm wearing it with jeans. Um, I wish these were a little bit more high-waisted, so it would like cover a little bit more, but they're not, sadly. So yeah, I have this sweater on, and I have these amazing jeans from... Uniqlo. I freaking love these jeans. I put on these ankle boots. These are from Deholic. Love them. They're cute. I like this little look. So from Deholic, I got this like fake shirt. Let's put it on. Is this gonna work? Let's see. <laughs> Does it work? I mean, <laughs> kind of. It looks kind of strange, but you get the idea. I prefer it without this, but that's just me. So this is a little bit more my style, wearing this kind of light. This is almost like a beige, but a gray. I don't know what color this is. So this is a little bit more my style, wearing this sweater instead of with jeans, like tight jeans. I like that I can get away with these white pants. They're a little big, but that's okay. If you watch my channel, then you know I like a wide leg pants. So here we go. I really like this outfit. You can either put flats on or boots. It's a look. I'm sorry, I'm like looking at the people over there. <laughs> Awkward! You could even like tuck in the sweater and do your own thing. <laughs> Love this look. I'm gonna go shoot this for Instagram. Be right back. Okay, next is this shirt that I got from Ingu. It's a Japanese brand. Now it comes with this belt. The only thing I have to say um, is that, as you can see, all of my pants kind of like pop out here, but they also pop out in the back. That's just how pants are on me um, because I have such thick thighs. Anyway, I like this look though with leather pants. I think it looks really cute with the leather pants. It gives it a little something different and yeah, I'm a fan of that. I would probably wear like black shoes with this. Um, what does it look like without a belt? I might like it better without a belt. It's a little like oversized but oversized is in right now, if you just have like a pointy shoe on on the bottom to like elongate your leg a little bit, I think that could be a look. Mm -hmm. I wonder if a skinnier belt would be a better option. Oh my god, my nose is running now. I don't know. Which belt do you like better? Or do you like no belt? I don't know. Okay, this is more of a casual look, just a regular black 
sweater, kind of cropped, and the leather pants. I think it would be cute with um, a pair of white sneakers. Do I have white sneakers? Let me check. I do. Um, these old janky sneakers. Let's pretend that they're very nice Fila chunky sneakers and super white. Okay? You get the point. You get the picture. I don't know. I can't see, but I think it's a look. Okay, for an even more casual feel, I switched into these nickel pants that kind of look like sweatpants and dress pants and then I wonder if this will make it even more casual you know you know I like that casual vibe business casual I mean I wish it was a little bit shorter let's just roll it for a second here see what we're working with when we roll it okay that's a little better I rolled it underneath and I think that fits better yeah I like this one Ooh. Uh -uh. Okay, yeah. Anyway, done. Okay, next I have this three-quarter sleeve on from Zara that I got last year. I absolutely love it, and it was cheap, so that's even better. And I have those Uniqlo pants on from before. You've probably seen me wear these in a crap ton of videos. They're just so comfortable. I have these fake black Converse on. It makes it super casual, and you literally walk everywhere in Japan, so sneakers are the best bet for you. And then to make it a little more fashion-forward, I'm gonna put on this sweater vest that you guys liked on my Instagram. We are mixing shades of black. Mm -hmm. I don't know if the camera picks it up at all, but I can see it. I think I would prefer this with a turtleneck, but still, I like it. These are some shades of beige, so I kind of have this one, this color beige. It's a t-shirt from Zara. You've probably seen it in other vlogs. Then I have this cardigan that I bought from GU. Super cute, and the buttons are kind of black, so I wore it with black pants. Um, I just love matching the shades of beige. I'm all about neutrals. So I feel like the more neutrals you have, the more mixing and matching you can do and just wear so many different kinds of outfits, you know? Cash and super, super comfortable. Even like, for example, I want to wear this as an overshirt. I could, just like that, you know? Actually, I think it would look better with a white t-shirt underneath. Here we go, white t-shirt on. Throw this on then you have like your own little look I like this too this trend is super popular right now in Japan like oversized shirts or corduroy shirts or just like a thick thick shirt material over a t-shirt or a long sleeve or a turtleneck masculine feminine fashion like mixing them and blending them is really popular in Japan right now if you want to be a little bit more dressy you could totally wear these with the leather pants and I think that would be cute too I think this look could also be cute with a hat just to make it even more casual the hat is like you don't have to do that you know but it's something you've also probably seen this cardigan before i got it from uniqlo recently and i just i am in love with this color same kind of vibe white t-shirt pants and then this kind of cardigan i just love it for me simple is best okay so this sweater is going to be making its rounds again this year i wore it a lot last year and I bought it from WeGo. I mean it's a little itchy but it was cheap and if you put a t-shirt under it or a tank top you won't be able to feel like the itchiness on your chest. I like the vibe with the leopard print scarf around my neck. The scarves are super popular here and I just have these black pants on for now. Honestly I'd rather wear these pants with it but they're super wrinkly and I just took them out of the laundry machine so <laughs> we won't be putting those on but this is the vibe I would normally go for but black is doable too. So this is a extremely cropped shirt that I got from D-Holic. Um, I don't think you guys have seen it on me yet. I really love it. It comes in one size though, but I do wish that I got it in more than just this color. I feel like the quality is pretty good. It has a little ruffled detail here and here as well. I'm going to take this scarf off, but I like this crop sweater. It's cute. You don't have to tuck it in. I don't think I'd be wearing a scarf with it though. The scarf's alright, but I feel like it cuts me off. Honestly though, I don't really like to wear boots with white leg pants, um, but in the winter, I might just have to. I think it's even cute with the full of the pants, um, even though they're a little stretched, but oh well. Okay, this is a very like matchy matchy color right here. So this is a kind of off-white beige t-shirt that I got from Uniqlo, and then I have this beige blazer that I have from H&M. I bought it in maybe the spring or summer, I can't remember, but I like this look together with the black leather pants. I feel my age when I wear a blazer, and I am 
30. So yeah, uh, I like this together. And I feel like I'm taking a risk, but the button here has some browns. So I decided to wear these brown sock boots with the black heel from GU. The brown boots can always be switched for black sock boots and still look nice, but I just, I love this blazer and t-shirt and black leather pants together. Like this is the look, shoes you can always like swap out, you know. Another shades of beige outfit. Um, so that's that Zara t-shirt that I have on. Then I have the Uniqlo cardigan on that I really do love. Plus these GU wide-legged pants. And I went down and got my beige sneakers. My Instagram handle name should be changed from Oshare Girl, which Oshare means fashionable in Japanese. To neutral tone basic bench. Okay, I don't normally wear skirts, but I thought I'd surprise you. So I have this Zara skirt on that I did the most horrendous sew job on. Look at it. The only way this skirt is going to fit me is if I sewed it like that. So that's why I have to wear long things to cover it so nobody knows my secret. So I have this Camel Zara skirt on with a skinny little black belt, white t-shirt, and this off-white cardigan, like I said, is from GU. I put thigh-high boots on. You probably remember these from last year. I'm going to be wearing them a lot again this year. Love these boots because they are flat. There's not really a heel on them. The only way this outfit could be better is if this cardigan was the same length as here, but that's only in my dreams, so gotta work with what you got. <laughs> the last thing I'm going to throw together um, is this dress that I got from Zara. I love the browns, I love the colors. It's very light in fabric and great for like transition from summer into fall, but I want to wear it longer you know I want to get my cost per wear so I'm gonna take this and then put on thigh high boots you can see here I have the thigh high boots on so it gives me a little bit more um, warmth I want to try this cardigan over it lots of buttons lots of colors yeah um uh, actually on second thought I hate that this is open here I mean for an Instagram picture like this you know it looks cute or if I walk around like this yeah, it looks cute, but who walks around like this in reality? Nobody! Okay, after finishing filming the outfit stuff, I am in the middle of filming another video so that way I can take like a break for one day. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I don't have to film for one day. I use so much hairspray that like this floor becomes so nasty. I just went through like a whole cleaning thing. I literally spent the last like hour, hour and 20 minutes just like scrubbing things that I haven't scrubbed in a while. Even though it might be like a subtle difference after you clean, like you know you cleaned it, so you just wanna sit there and stare at it for a couple minutes and be like, ah, that looks so much better. Unless that's just me, maybe that's just me. And thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to give a thumbs up, subscribe down below, all that jazz, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, good night.